Ula, la 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 really I heard in the flying chariot and the dying chariot. Planes, 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 planes. Amelia Earhart and the flying chariot. Now, planes are not flying chariots. Keep that in mind. And the thing is, planes are good things. Sure, they're basically flying chariots. <laughs> but the thing is, they're just things that move so fast that they can move up. The faster you go, the higher you go, as some people say. Well, that's not actually true. Just because they say, go at light speed, like this. Doesn't mean that it's going up. For that, you need a thrust up. Because it's going, and planes are docile like this, so that when they move here fast in a, this direction, it also creates some lift for them under it, because the wing speed right here is here, slower than the wing speed on the bottom. And the thing is, Amelia Earhart just got instant fame by lying at the back of this, of a plane, like a stack of potatoes, as she said herself, and moving and then just crossing the Atlantic as being a passenger, just by sitting on a sack of potatoes at the back of a plane. And it's like that that Amelia Earhart goes ahead and becomes the instant famous. Then she gave lectures and everything, and of course, that's what probably what inspired this book itself. This book is inspired by Amelia Earhart because of a Halloween costume of Amelia Earhart. And that's pretty much it. Now the next thing that we're going to have to say is about how this flying chariot seems to work out. Amelia Earhart is awesome, but this book isn't just about Amelia Earhart. It's about Gre ancient Greece too. So, it's so this whole series is actually just about at least eight historical events. Technically eight, at least eight historical events, but currently it's nine. I can list them all. Modern day world. Abraham Lincoln's presidency day. And then, uh, wait, it is eight. Wait, hang on a second. And then we have Amelia Earhart on the Atlantic. Greece. We have John Adams Presidency Day, the Caribbean Pirates Day, six, and then we have Nat Love and Neil Armstrong, which makes eight. But then we also have the bonus of Benjamin Franklin's daughter, and that is it. Well, pretty much the only reason why I actually like this book is about how it teaches history. It's like compressing all of them into a fun stuff with some added events into it, like put this in, put this in. Now it's completely fictional. Nice science fiction fiction. Science fiction, historical fiction. And that seems pretty unlikely too. The thing is, Greece does have lots of things. And why do Greek people do not wear clothes except for the chariot racing event? Well, it's because of the fact that those Greek people actually are, one guy was tripped over a road during the marathon race. He's like, screw you clothes, takes them off and it runs the whole race, and he won. And Russell was wearing a robe, and they're like, what the heck? Too hot for history, man! And yeah, that's pretty much why Time Twister's Amelia Earhart and the Flying Chariot received so much fame, I'm guessing. And one more thing about this book is about how it introduces the fact about Sally Franklin. And Sally Franklin herself is an interesting character. She is the one, she's also nine years old, like Amy and Doc's age, and that makes her a super genius, apparently. However, she is not a super genius. All she can do is, well, in real life, all she can do is just sew and stuff. And it's because of that, things start getting interesting. The next thing I really want to say is about how Sally Franklin seems to make the works and how she did all this. Sure, nine-year-olds are not all geniuses. When I was nine years old, I barely thought I, thought I knew everything, almost everything, I claimed. Then I realized I was so self-centered. And then I went ahead and tried to change my ways. And apparently I'm still a bit self-centered. Everyone is. But the next best thing you can do about this is how to fix it yourself. How to fix this self-centeredness yourself. And I think that's a pretty enjoyable fact in the book too. Because with this self-centeredness, you can change your ways. But that's not even the whole point of the book. This whole point of the book is to learn history. And Steve Shangen is a really, really good historical off writer. Historical fiction author. And this is so good. He creates so many good stories. Or just real stories. And one good thing about it. Is that. Is that you learn and have fun. Well, not all the things in this book series is real though. And that's pretty much all I have to say. Amelia Earhart and the Flying Chariot. You gotta read this. Because one, you learn about Amelia Earhart. Two, it gives justice to women. And three, women are awesome. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. See you guys soon. Shout out. Peace.
Ah, that's better. Bye bye. Wee. Boo.